Now, in the legal system, the problem that you have run into, the pathology that you've run into, is that your allies in mental health, or just the mental health people, the forensic people, um, have been so ignorant and incompetent, they have not given you your counter-argument. So the pathology says, you're being abusive to the child, that's why the child doesn't want to be with you, two-person attribution of causality. Well, what do you say in response? What's your allegation? That, no, no, I'm not doing it, you're causing the pathology. And what they gave you was this parental alienation syndrome, which is the worst possible uh, model for a pathology ever created since the dawn of mankind. And so don't use parental alienation. There's no research for it. It's stupid. It's awful. It's, it's, it's crazy. Don't do that. Don't go down that road. But what do you use instead? How do you make the counter argument? Well, that's what I've done. Okay, I'm a clinical psychologist, and I have given you the professional terminology and the professional constructs so that you can make a counter argument to that. You know, the pathology says you're abusing the child somehow and creating the child's attachment pathology. You say, no, no, no. I'm saying it's a shared persecutory delusion and a false attachment pathology created for the secondary gain of manipulating the court. The, um, and so now you have two possibilities, either two-person attribution causality or a triangle three-person attribution, a shared persecutory delusion. And that's what we want assessed, is both halves of that. Now, the legal system is very balanced in that, in their understanding of how they deal with litigants. And so that's going to be a model that suits well to the understanding of the court system, that you want a clinical diagnostic assessment of possible child abuse, a risk assessment of possible child abuse to the differential diagnosis appropriate to each parent. Is the target rejected parent abusing the child? If so, how? And I've created this, this scale, this parenting practices rating scale that they can go down and identify specifically how the targeted parent is, is abusively maltreating the child, creating the child's attachment pathology. Or is it the allied parent who has narcissistic, borderline, dark personality uh, spectrum traits and are they creating a shared persecutory delusion in the child um, and a false attachment pathology for the secondary gain of manipulating the court um, surrounding child custody and to meet their own emotional and psychological needs, one of which is potential spousal abuse using the child as a weapon. So we got a, a second assessment in there as well, risk assessment for possible spousal abuse. Um, psychological abuse using the child as a weapon. So those are the two differential diagnoses, the differential explanations that we need to have properly assessed in the situation.